Aries, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. And it's, um, it's a very productive week for you. It's pretty incredible. Those issues from the past, and they could be definitely issues focused around your relationship or your finances, because Mars is says a square to Venus and Mercury conjunct. Now that's a really powerful energy. And in and of itself, it could be troublesome, but there's a beautiful sextile to Chiron. That means all of this is not in vain and it's going to prove to be hugely motivating for you. So I'm gonna explain everything that that means to you guys while we go into the astrology predictions for the week as well. So come on board. Thank you so much for discovering my channel, guys. My name is Michelle, and this is Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Um, please remember to subscribe if you love these weekly astrology and tarot card readings. Um, this is the first of my two YouTube channels. The second is called Astrology Motivation, and I hope you'll join me there as well. I'll attach the link above. And um, remember that this is... Um, this is the first of two videos, so I always have an extended reading that I provide. I hope you guys will join me for. The link is down below, Aries, in the description box. I'll attach it to this video uh, toward the end, and it's all over the place. You'll be able to find it. Um, what does the astrology mean? I already have a few tarot cards sitting in front of me, and as you can tell, I do have a different background today. Um, this is because uh, I am bringing you this message straight from the beautiful Sedona, Arizona, and um, I had to record here. I'm, I'm, I'm at the tail end of my vacation, and it was wonderful. I will definitely cover that in the daily tarot card readings that I do over on Astrology Motivation, where we can live chat and you can ask me any questions you'd like. So, um, the Cesar Squares really do create a challenge, they create a friction um, that will make things stronger, very much like, that will make you stronger, very much like a square. These challenges are put to you in order to make you stronger. And so what is this trying to make you stronger with? Well, let's look to that sextile, the Chiron. Um, Mars sextile Chiron is just this beautiful energy of, um, motivation motivation to get things done because of the experience that the suffering that you've gone through in the past and what it's taught you and i know i can do it better now so it's almost like deja vu but not because you're in such a better place that the universe is almost setting you up to show you look it's not that bad look you're not the failure that you thought you were look um you know you're not going to be fooled the same way again you're going to see how much you've learned because a sextile the chiron really does mark this fact that the, it, it almost it almost testifies to the fact that you have made up for your past because you've learned from it you it's not that you owed the universe anything or anything like that it's like the only way to keep the past in the past is to make sure that you learn from it and that it doesn't be repeated in the future and that sextile between mars and um and chiron tells me that it says that now the says squares will tell me where all this is playing out and the says square is uh with this conjunction between venus and mercury which which is um the says square between mars i'm sorry between mars which is your ruling dignitary and venus and mercury and so venus and mercury conjunct is a very charismatic energy it's a very much people are going to listen to me people are going to see me people are going to value me i'm going to feel confident about myself but the fact that mars your ruling dignitary is says a square to them means that there's been conflicts in the past of of how much people have appreciated you or how appreciated you felt or how listened to you have felt it's almost like you're going to be posed these similar challenges that you'll feel oh i just this is the same bullshit again but it's not it's not because you have learned because you have changed and if you are not the same person that you used to be, there's no way that things can go the, the way they once did. 
Let's get into the cards because I do have some beautiful cards in front of me. So here we have uh, the seven of the seven of cups, which means that it could be that in some sense you feel that you've lost your way or there is some confusion here. There could also be so many options in front of you now. You don't know the right one to pick. And there could be some fear that you will pick the wrong thing because you know that you haven't picked the best in the past. And maybe you haven't picked the one that was the most valuable. And by value, I don't mean monetary value, though that could be part of it because Venus is involved. But I do mean the one that was right for you the one that was good for you, the one that also helped to support your value and your worth, right? Have you chosen right before? I feel like there, this card is telling me that this, this week, one of the biggest challenges you'll face is confidence in your ability to choose the right thing this time. And that makes sense because of the astrology and those Sesa squares. And I can guarantee you that because of that sextile to Chiron, you absolutely will choose the right thing uh, sit back, try to be a little bit objective and think to yourself, just breathe out, right? Why is everything looking good to you? Do you feel you have to satisfy everybody? Do you feel you have to nod your head and say yes to everybody? Because I think that you, Aries, I think that you absolutely know what works for you and what is right for you and that a lot of trauma or difficulty in your life could have almost knocked that out of you and made you a little bit of a people pleaser, which is not natural to who you are. Who you are is somebody that really finds what they believe in and what they love very easily. And so I know that's still in you. And especially because of that sextile to Chiron, I know you're finding that again. So honestly, I think what you're going to see is that you can now see once again what the right decision is to make, what the best decision is for you by following your gut and realizing, hey, I have a right, I have a right to choose what actually does work for me. And I know that that might hurt some people, but that's not synonymous with me hurting people. You know, if, if what I want doesn't align with what they want, then maybe we have to talk about it or we have to part ways or maybe there's a third path or a fourth path that we can blaze together. But it doesn't always have to be me compromising in order to keep them in my life, right? I think confusion is usually a symptom of knowing what you want, but feeling bad about it, right? So you allow all these other things to talk in your ear like, oh, maybe they are a good idea. Maybe they are a good idea because, oh, then this person would be happy. This person would be happy. But Aries, would you be happy? And that's the kind of challenge that you're going to be facing this week. And we will further along in this reading, get into different modalities that you can get into to help you combat that and get yourself back to your core so that you can make decisions that you actually know are correct for you. There is definitely good news here for you because you have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is an abundance card. It is a card of wealth, it's also a card of success. But if you look closely, you'll see it's also a card of partnership and family. This sense of abundance, not only in material things, but tangible things. Remember, Venus doesn't just represent money. She represents the tangible. She represents luxury, but she represents things of value, which is also love and partnership. Um, so that's this sort of abundance of love around you, family, connection, maybe even a new home that's going to work out very well for you or start to feel like home maybe for the first time in a long time. This could be a pay raise. It could be so many things. And I would love to hear what this is for you. Please do leave the comments below because I would absolutely love to know. Um, but this is feeling the abundance and actually experiencing the abundance tangibly, which is a beautiful week for anybody. Now, this could mean that that could be part of the confusion, that there is so much in your life that is feeling good right now. You could experience bouts of, do I deserve this? The answer is yes, um, because you wouldn't have gotten this far if you hadn't earned it and you hadn't worked for it. Um, this is tangible, right? That's my, that's my dog. Shh. That's my dog. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, 
So, so yeah, if you hadn't worked for it, you wouldn't have gotten this far. This could absolutely be symbolic of having many choices to choose from and many opportunities to choose from. And you know what? It's okay to sit down and say, I'm going to entertain these choices. I'm going to think about these choices because uh, maybe you are interested in some of these choices. So this, for some of you, could be extremely good news right now, right? Why? Why is all of this happening? Well, because people are still are finally starting to show interest in what you do. And not only interest in what you do, but appreciation for the value that you bring to each situation and how you do what you do. This is the Three of Pentacles, which is just that. It's, it's people showing appreciation for your good work and being really impressed by the things that you do. And so you can see there's like merchants now coming to purchase his work. There's there's an abundance of interest because there is almost like a spotlight on the fact that you are really, really great at what you do. So people are starting to recognize you and appreciate you now mostly we have pentacles here and this this seven of cups mostly we have pentacles here so i know it's tangible so i know you're going to be experiencing this in the physical in the physical form material resources could be money um it could be other things but at tangible things that you can measure um here we have the seven of cups though you may not know how you feel about this like wow there's all of a sudden and i'll tell you why those are the says of squares to the venus mars the venus mercury conjunction it'll bring up a little bit from the past of wow well you you know you know this could be the situation where i don't know what to do with this because honestly nobody's treated me this way before <laughs> nobody's ever you know had shown or demonstrated this much interest in everything that I do before. So, um, should I trust it? Uh, yeah, you should trust it. They're showing interest because you worked hard. Ten of Pentacles is the, ten, ten of Pentacles tells me this is the fulfillment of a cycle. This is a fulfillment of a struggle. You know, you've been through the, the Page of Pentacles. You've been through the Two of Pentacles where things were, you didn't know how you were gonna make money. You've been through, you got the Three of Pentacles here. You've been through the Four of Pentacles where you had to be stingy with money and you were afraid that if you spent it, you'd never get it back. You've been through the Five of Pentacles, you know, where, where you were broke. You know, you've been through the struggle. So the fact that you've arrived here says, oh yeah, 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 this is, this is sincere. You're just now experiencing emotions that are making you feel or question is this real? Question, can I really be valued? Because this is maybe the first time in your life that especially in this area of your life, you've experienced people appreciating you for what you do. And your only past experience is people not appreciating you or not seeing your value. And so it could come as a surprise to you. You've never been here before. I mean, we listen, we all assume that when we hit the jackpot, <laughs> Um, we'll be extremely happy and, and we'll know exactly what we want to do with the money. But the truth is this, even if you've thought about it a hundred thousand times every single day of your life, you don't know until you actually experience the moment. And it's natural to experience these bouts of doubt. And the fact that Chiron is so heavily involved with Mars tells me that this is really a culmination in a week, not to test you, but to reward you by showing you that you absolutely are ready for this, that you absolutely know what to do, that all that hard work has gotten into you and changed you and taught you how to be something that is bigger and stronger and better and perhaps more deserving. You know, it's just an emotional reaction. So. I want to get into, I usually have my moon cards here. Eric, oh, Jesus. I want to get into the extended. I know this is kind of a short reading, um, but let's see. Hold on. Oh, boy. This is, a, there's abundance here. And that's coming up in the future. So this is the Empress. Now the Empress says there is a great deal of abundance in your life. In fact, these are tangible resources that you will not only possess, you, they will grow, they will develop. This is, this is the beginning of something very beautiful when it comes to your financial state of being, as well as not even just financial, like your worldly state of being. 
a state of being of having, of having abundance and being respected and being appreciated. Um, this could be a mother figure in your life. This could be symbolic of um, something wonderful happening in terms of maturation or maturing or maturing your relationship. Um, we have Venus right here. There is that says a square to, um, yeah, there is that, um, yeah, there is a says a square to Venus uh, conjunct Mercury, which is a perfect conjunction this week. Um, but this is just prosperity. Sometimes she can represent a maternal figure. Since she's coming out in the future, I don't see her as a maternal figure so much as I see her as you and how you've grown and developed. And the fact that she's the empress means that yes, just like I was telling you, she has been through all the other steps. She has been through all the other queens. She has been through all the other kings. She's been there. Now what she has can't be taken from her. And I'll tell you why. Because the most valuable thing that you have that you're going to tangibly interact with this week the most valuable thing is the recognition of your own learning, is realizing, wow, I am this good. I, I can do this well. I do have this value. And that seems like something small, but it isn't because it will change every room that you walk into now until the rest of your life because it'll change how confident and competent you feel about what you bring into that room with you just by stepping in yourself. And this is signifying to me that what you earn this week, let me, I, I will get to exactly where in your life, the position in your life that, that this is gonna go down in, but whatever you earn this week is not only going to be sustainable, it is going to grow and it is going to continue to prosper. Now, where is all of this happening? I would encourage you to go check your natal chart and definitely put in all your information and get your full natal chart, not just your planets, but also your houses. Um, because I, I would like you to go see where in where, which house in your natal chart is ruled by Capricorn because there's such a stellium of energy that's coming this week. Remember, um, we have a new moon this week, which means this represents a new beginning. And for you, this is a new beginning, I think, especially in work. But check where Capricorn rules in your chart because that's where it's all going down. That's where Venus and Mercury are. That's where the abundance lies in Capricorn right now, which is is traditionally Capricorn is the 10th house, which is what you've built out into the world. But it may be a different house for you. It could be love and relationships. It could be partnership. It could be health. It could be all these different areas of your life. So check because that's where the abundance is coming. That is not going to go away. It is only going to grow. Now this energy will somehow permeate to other aspects of your life. And I wanna see exactly how. We're gonna get into that in the extended. Let's see how all of this is playing out. The link is below, Aries. I'll see you there.